welcome all today's topic is biased shun positive keeper yesterday's class in my yesterday's class we have seen up to the arm biased series keepers that is we have seen the biased series positive keeper and biased series negative keeper also in case of Biased series positive keeper we have used via positive voltage. It is though it is a DC voltage we reference, but we are considering it as a positive voltage with respect to the V output. It is we are taking across the terminals. And in the case of biased series negative clipper, we have used the minus clipper. Right now moving on to the Today's topic as a shunt positive clipper, and uh, I have given these topics to you as a homework yesterday. I hope most of you have at least tried it because as you move on this chapter, there will be number of clipper circuits, clamper circuits. So, as we moving on to this chapter, it will become a complex thing. Right? Number of circuits will be increased, so it will make it confusing which circuit is for which application, which is clipper, which is clamper, which is positive, which is negative, bias, which is series, or which is shunt, what is the output waveform. So, if you people practice or at least try whatever I have given to you as homework, then it will be very useful for you to understand and to actually. Gain the knowledge and remember easily. You have to remember the topic easily. Okay, shunt positive clipper. Today's topic a bias or shunt positive clipper can be obtained by adding a bias voltage. What is the reference in series with the diode T in unbiased shunt positive clipper? First, instead of bias or shunt positive clipper, remember the unbiased shunt positive clipper. First positive clipper means the positive portion of the input waveform that is the positive half cycle. The entire positive half cycle will be clipped off. Next, the shunt means the diode is connected in parallel with the output that is output we are taking across the diode. And bias means we should add this bias voltage in the circuit. So the same unbiased shunt positive clipper can be converted into the biased shunt positive clipper by adding a V reference voltage in series with the diode D. See the circuit only 3A. We see the circuit only 3A circuit. Right. This is a biased shunt positive clipper. If you remove the VR and connect the direct diode directly to close the circuit, it will be unbiased shunt positive clipper but here we have connected a dc voltage we are in series with the diode right? and we have we are taking the output across this entire section that is diode plus we are now analyze the circuit that is so Right. By analyzing the circuit, we can draw the output waveforms. First, analyze the circuit for a positive off cycle of the input. During the positive off cycle, V input and consider because we have the V reference. So, we will get the condition whether V input is greater than VR or V input is less than VR. These two conditions V input is greater than VR or V input is less than we are now consider we input less than we are less than we are that is our it is a positive voltage so in the positive half cycle we will have this positive v reference voltage that is represent it as a dash line dotted line sorry dotted line dotted line in the input waveform now consider the condition v input less than v r what happens 
we are up to we are that is the positive voltage we are connecting the positive voltage to the p terminal of the diode and then n terminal of the diode is connected to the again here positive voltage but what happens the vp voltage at p terminal is less than this v r voltage at p positive terminal is less than this v r which is connected to the n terminal so vp is less than vn vp is less than vn so the what happens to the junction that is pn diode junction whether it is forward biased or reverse biased vp is less than vn and n is connected to the positive terminal so here it will be reverse bias it will be reverse bias and replace the reverse bias with equivalent circuit of this diode consider the diode as ideal then the in case of reverse bias the ideal diode will be open circuit ideal diode will be open circuit now we are redrawing the circuit it is figure 3 pan c for v input less than v r just redraw the circuit by yourself that is v input less than v r and positive voltage is applying rl will be there and the diode is reverse bias so it is considered as an open circuit and the v reference voltage will be there circuit is open so there will not be flow of any current that is il is equal to zero but we are taking the output across the this diode to reference voltage but the diode is open so whatever we are taking the output across the terminals is equal to the v input because there is no closed circuit there is no flow of current there is no drop in the rl there is no drop in the rl so whatever the out input we are applying here same will be available across the v output so for v input less than v r now draw the waveform v input less than v r up to the v 0 to v r the output will be same up to v r the output will be same as the input only this portion only up to the distorted plus dot line portion of the v input section the output waveform should draw the output waveform don't draw the entire waveform output waveform now by doing this So don't draw the entire waveform here only up to the positive portion that is up to VR draw the same as input waveform only this rising section positive section now moving on to the next condition that is V input greater than VR V input greater than VR so what happens when V input is greater than VR that is VP sorry the VP voltage at positive terminal is greater than voltage at negative terminal and we are applying positive voltage is p terminal so the relative voltage is higher at v post then the junction will be in forward bias then the diode will act as short circuit so replace the diode with a short circuit and redraw the entire circuit this is figure 3d the circuit of the above entire circuit with p input greater than v r condition to redraw the circuit v input greater than v r r l will be there and the diode is a short circuit and the v reference will be as usual and we are taking output output across this entire section so what will we have that is we are in the output in the output output is we are taking across this diode and we are the diode is ideal consider we have considered the diode is ideal so it will be replaced with short circuit no rf will be there no v gamma that is cutting voltage is considered as zero and r forward is considered as zero so because of that condition the diode is replaced with a short circuit so v output will be equal to v r that is simple case law that is measuring the voltage across the v r so V output will be V R. When it will happen for the entire section, V input greater than V R. That is, for entire V input greater than V R, this above dashed line 
input dash line in the input waveform about the dotted line the real input is greater than VR that will be replaced with the VR VR is what what is VR reference holding that is the DC holding and that is constant that is constant so you should replace that entire section with this VR so replace the entire section in the Bose off cycle that is the input greater than VR with the VR V reference voltage V reference and V reference here now repeat the entire cycle again and again it will be the same so observe the waveform observe the output waveform what we got here for the V input less than VR whatever the waveform we have in the input that is V output will be is equal to V input that is for V input less than VR but V input greater than VR we have V output is equal to VR V reference it can be mathematically represented in a simple equation but observe the waveforms in the waveform not the entire positive off section is picked up only some portion small portion of the input waveform or tip up input positive waveform is picked up so this is a positive clipper of course the positive portion is clipped up so it is a positive clipper and the diode is connected in parallel with the output voltage so it is a shunt clipper so shunt positive clipper but because of the applied bias voltage only some portion only small portion of the positive waveform is clipped up so this is a biased shunt positive clipper so the theory part can be explained from the from the case one during the positive off cycle of the input signal when the input is less than we are the diode is reverse bias and acts as open circuit one must draw every circuit and every waveform like this then only you can understand easily as you are, are learning it first time so you have to draw the entire circuits for both the conditions also the PC 3D the circuits also one must draw you can easily understand and the waveforms also very important so therefore the output the output follows the input voltage the output is equal to you for V input less than VR. When V input is greater than VR, the diode is forward biased and acts as short circuit. Therefore, the output will stay at plus VR as long as the input voltage is greater than plus VR. So, V output is equal to V in for V input greater than VR. This is the first equation. V output is equal to V in for V input greater than VR. No, it's not greater than, right? V output is equal to V in for V input less than VR. Here, correction, make a correction. V output is equal to V in for V input less than V. In the top we have right return is correct, but in the middle we have written wrong. During negative off cycle of the input signal, when V input is less than V R, when V input is less than V R. Sorry, see the second point in this. Uh, slide when V input is greater than VR diode is forward bias and acts as short circuit therefore the output will stay at plus VR as long as the input voltage is greater than VR so this equation will be V output is called VR V output is called VR for V input greater than VR V output is called VR for V input greater than VR now see the and during the negative half cycle that is V input less than VR the diode remains reverse bias it acts as open circuit so V output is called V for V input less than we are this the entire negative half cycle is reproduced at the output the input and corresponding output waveforms as shown in figure next moving on to the topic bias shunt negative clipper shunt negative clipper we have seen the bias shunt positive clipper now we have to see bias shunt negative clipper just reverse the diode that means the terminals of the diode has to be reversed just reverse the diode direction a bias or shunt negative clipper can be obtained by adding the bias voltage that is minus VR in series with diode D. 
here see observe one thing in the negative clipper circuits in the negative clipper circuits either it is series or shunt in the negative clipper circuits either it is series or shunt in case of biased biased negative clippers in either it is series or shunt we are applying minus gear voltage we are applying minus gear voltage if it is positive clipper that is either series or shunt okay in case of biased see positive clippers either series or shunt we are applying plus we are we are applying the plus we are for positive we are applying plus we are or negative we are applying minus we are that's it yeah remember it like that so it can be easily understood now see the circuit diagram only the circuit diagram the input and rl will be there in the diode direction and negative vr and the output is we are taking across the diode and into here apply the voltage input waveforms and minus vr draw the minus vr in the input waveform that is a dotted line below the x axis and vr should be less than v max less than v max now <coughs> two condition we input less than minus vr and we input greater than minus vr so first we see v input greater than minus vr greater than minus vr is entire positive half cycles and some portion of the negative some portion of the negative half cycle so that is v input like greater than minus vr here we didn't draw the dotted line in the negative half cycle but we must draw the dotted line dotted line on the vr that is minus vr so we are drawing below the x axis that is time x time axis here draw the below the time axis but it should be less than v minus n okay now see apply the v input greater than minus vr condition so what happens minus so first minus sign is applied to the end terminal of the diode and in case of positive terminal is applied to the minus vr see both are minus we are applying the positive terminal of the p terminal of the diode to minus and n terminal of the diode is also to the minus that is negative voltage but what we have to see we have to see the relative voltage that is either vp greater than vn or vp less than vr but we are considering what v input greater than minus vr so vp voltage at positive terminal is greater than minus vr voltage at end terminal is equal to minus vr so vp is greater than v of vn so it will be it will be sorry sorry see here we are applying v input greater than minus vr to the end terminal that is vn and we are applying the positive terminal a minus vr that is vp is equal to minus vr and vn is equal to v input which is greater than minus vr so what happens vp is less than vp is less than vn so the relative voltage is vp less than vn which will be reverse bias the which will reverse bias the diode as it is ideal open circuit is the uh, open circuit will happen so the 4c here for C represents a V input greater than minus VR condition and the circuit is open, no current will flow, no drop in the RL, then the output will be equal to the input. Output will be equal to input. So for the entire section V input greater than minus VR, you should redraw the input waveform. See so observe the waveform, not to waveform. Okay. For the entire section V input greater than minus VR, the output will be equal to the input. What happens when we output is equal to output is less than minus vr output less than minus vr again vp and vn consider the voltage at positive p terminal and voltage at negative terminal and see for relative voltage then the diode will be power bias then the diode will act as short circuit and output we are taking across this portion then the output will be equal to the minus p reference voltage so for the section 
V input less than minus V or the negative half cycle of the input wave from some portion of the negative half cycle of the input wave from will be clipped off and it will be replaced with the minus V R and the field difference voltage. So that's how we got this waveform. And by observing this waveform, the entire negative half cycle is not clipped. Only some portion of the negative half cycle will be clipped off. Okay. So this is how bias solution the negative clipper will work. And I have given you the assignment to do home to do at the right home. That is what happens when the VR is positive in this case? What happens when the VR is positive for this negative clipper? What happens when the we apply minus VR in case of positive clippers? Okay, see for yourself because you will get the entire half cycle or entire positive will be clipped off and again it is the whatever we remain that is the either positive half cycle negative half cycle whatever we got in that also some portion will be clipped off if we apply like this voltage whatever I told you that is if you apply the positive voltage to the negative clipper and if you apply negative voltage to the positive clipper then whatever we got the half cycles that is positive or negative half cycles depending on the positive clipper and negative clipper we apply then in that portion also in that uh, entire half cycle also there will be clipping of some of the portions if we apply such type of voltage and see for yourself what happens if uh, vr is greater than v max that is if we consider the reference voltage greater than v input maximum voltage that is v max in what happens See, these are the conditions and these are the questions you may expect in the competitive exams or in the interview questions. Right? They don't ask you what you have learned, what you have learned or what you have taught in the classroom section, but they will ask the questions what you have to do, what you analyze yourself, what is the, if the condition is altered, condition is changed, then you analyze the circuit on the spot and you should be able to tell the answer. So this is the theory part of the subject. During positive half cycle of the input signal, when the input is greater than VR, greater than minus VR, the diode remains reverse bias and it acts as open circuit. But if the output is called V input, V input greater than minus VR. During negative half cycle of the input signal, when V input is greater than minus VR, the diode is reverse bias and acts as open circuit. There was the Output follows the input voltage because we output the input for V input is it less than or greater than VR during the negative off cycle of the input signal that is V input greater than minus VR. Output follows the input for V input greater than minus VR for V input less than minus VR. The diode is forward bias and axial short circuit, therefore the output will stay at minus VR as long as the input voltage is less than minus VR. So we have to do to minus VR for V input less than VR. This is the condition. Now moving on to the next topic, explain the double-ended clipper with waveforms. Double-ended clipper with waveforms. Okay, that is also called two-level clipper. It is also called two level clipper two levels will be there that is one is v vr1 and one second is vr2 you can consider it like that because as whatever we have seen up to now the circuits biased clippers and unbiased clippers in case of unbiased the level is zero level that is the vr is zero we have applied zero v difference but in case of biased clippers we applied the bias voltage as VR. So VR is the level there. Then now in this circuit, two level output, two level clippers, we have two reference voltages VR1 and VR2. So that's why it is called a two level clipper. See the circuit and draw the circuit. 
first draw the circuit don't draw the waveforms output waveforms we will draw it by analyzing the circuit first draw the circuit all of you must draw the circuit Okay, uh, I think all of most all of you have drawn the circuit. Now see the theory part. It is a combination of bias to positive and negative clippers. It is a combination of bias to positive and bias to negative clipper. As shown in figure, using this clipper, a portion of both positive and negative off cycles of input can be removed or clipped. See the circuit for yourself. V input we are applying, and there is RL and there is a diode and with the reference voltage V1 and second diode with the um, changing of terminals or reversing the diode direction and we have V2 is there. Just compare this circuit with the biased uh, circuits. See this is what shunt negative clipper when you have a direction. Remember the diode direction it is towards the y axis. Just remember like that upward upwards and we have minus vr upward and minus vr upward and minus there is a second portion d2 and v2 v2 and v2 it is a shunt negative clipper and below direction that is towards uh, x axis remember like that and below the direction arrow and we have vr1 that is a positive clipper so both are shunt clippers but one is positive clipper and another one is negative clipper both are biased in this case also we have it is a shunt clipper and we have two level clippers we have two level clippers just draw the way from directly if you understand if not just analyze the circuit by step by step by considering v input greater than v1 or v input less than v1 and second condition v input greater than v2 and v input less than v2 but we can draw the circuit directly because we know the input waveform that is the sinusoidal we have and we have v1 and v2 plus v1 that is in the positive half section positive half cycle portion draw a dotted line of plus v1 voltage and in case of v2 that is a negative voltage minus v2 so draw the dotted line below the x-axis or minus v2 voltage let's after drawing um, you can directly draw the output waveform that is below v1 below v1 and up to v2 below and up to v2 the input the output waveform will remain same as the input waveform but above v1 we have it will be cut off and the reference voltage will be v1 and below v2 it will be cut off and it will be equal to the minus v2 here in this case by observing the waveform you may have seen that v v1 is equal to v2 that is removing the signs the values the values the practical values v1 is equal to v2 we have assumed that condition in this circuit but it may not be possible always you can change the values yourself you can change yes yes we can change the v1 and v2 which v1 may not be equal to v2 v1 can be greater than v2 v1 can be less than v2 only the values i am not uh, considering the signs you okay, know i am not considering the signs so that condition is also possible then we will get and we will get the waveforms different waveform because the two levels two levels may be may be may be different in the positive portion we may have uh, v1 which is lesser value compared to v2 and in the negative portion if we have v2 which is greater than then we have we may change it to we may change it to the other clipper circuits also the two level clippers can be changed to other level clippers also by changing the values v1 and v2 so by this by this we have successfully 
drawn the output waveforms. Now understand the theory portion. This is the most important. That is the equation. V output is called what happens V n when V input is less than V n, V input is greater than V one, and the negative offset we should consider the V two value. V input greater than V two and V input less than V two. Now see the theory part and understand that those equations. So during positive half cycle of the input signal, what happens? Consider during the positive half cycle and up to v1 right first condition v1 v input greater than v1 one condition and v input less than v1 only in the positive half cycle consider consider v input greater than v1 and v input less than v1 so first condition v input greater than v1 v input greater than v1 what what, have, what happens positive voltage is applied and there is a flow of current in the RL and up to RL and then is we are getting a D1 first consider the D1 V1 D1 V1 VP voltage at positive terminal is whatever we are applying V input whatever we are applying the V input that is greater than V1 greater than V1 condition so or otherwise first consider up to v1 up to v1 first consider v input less than v1 that is the positive half cycle only in the positive half cycle v input less than v1 so vp will be v1 which is less than v1 v input what is less than v1 vp is equal to v input which is less than v1 but the vn voltage at terminal is equal to plus v1 so the relative voltage is greater at uh, negative negative term and for the negative we are applying the positive so what happens it will be reverse bias so there will be open circuit diode will be open circuit and now come to the d2 v2 now come to the d2 and v2 in that in that what happens the negative terminal is connected to V input. Negative terminal is connected to V input. That is, V n is equal to V n, which is less than V one, which is less than V one, and V p is equal to minus V two. V p is equal to minus V two. In this circuit, we have considered V one is equal to V two. The theory or the values, the values in this circuit we consider V one is equal to V two. So you can replace like that. So V voltage at positive terminal of diode two is less than V two, less than the V two, and voltage at negative terminal is is equal to V two. So voltage at positive terminal is is equal to V two, and voltage at negative terminal is less than V two. So the relative voltage is greater at V. Positive and positive terminal is positive is connected to the and positive is connected to the negative terminal of the voltage that is DC bias negative terminal of the DC bias. So the what happens the diode will be reverse bias reverse bias junction will be reverse bias so it will be open circuit is also a open circuit so you can remember you can remove this V1 and V2 and the consider the circuit as open. So whatever the V input is applying, we will get across the V output. So for the condition V input less than V1, V input less than V1, entire V input section is applying, and we are getting it is across the V output. And same condition, same second condition that is V input less than V2, V input less than minus V2, V input. Less than minus V2 value to consider, then the same will happen. D1 will be reverse bias and D2 will be reverse bias, then the output will be equal to the input. Now, considering the two conditions, so see the equations for reversal. See, for V input, we have taken the condition V input is less than V1, that is the first condition for V input less than V1, the V output will be equal to. V 
in v out it will be equal to v in and during the negative half cycle we consider v input less than minus v2 v input less than minus v2 and if you apply minus on both sides what happen v input v input greater than v2 v input greater than v2 then out so v out it is equal to v input now the next and next condition v input greater than v1 v input greater than v1 during the positive off cycle only consider it then for the d1 v1 voltage at p terminal is equal to v input which is greater than v1 voltage at n terminal is equal to v1 which is less than the vp so the diode will be forward bias and it will act as a short circuit right so there will be v1 v reference so we may not consider d2 and v2 because the v1 is in parallel with this d2 and v2 which can be replaced by v1 for the pitch of current law kcl equation also right and the parallel circuits will have the same voltage if there is no any inter node element so we can replace d2 v2 with v1 so v input greater than v1 condition v input greater than v1 condition during the positive off cycle we can have the v out is equal to v1 v1 and now condition v input greater than minus v2 v input greater than minus v2 and see the diode d2 will be short circuit and the v2 will be there and where the v2 will be there this is parallel to the d1 v1 and we can replace d1 v1 with v2 and we will get the next level that is minus v2 during the negative off cycle of this input waveform which is greater than minus v2 portion so the two levels we will get v1 and v2 for the other two conditions that is v output is equal to v1 for v input greater than v1 v output is equal to v2 for v input less than v2 you may get confused because v input greater than v2 or v input less than v2 because we consider it as minus v2 here minus v2 by applying minus we can change the greater than to less than and less than to greater than condition now the next topic is draw the output waveforms draw the output waveforms are given clip per circuit for sine side or square input this is the problematic part of this theory sub theory topic we have learned about the unbiased series clipper unbiased shunt clipper that is either positive or negative and we have seen about the positive so we have seen about the biased series clipper biased shunt clipper either positive or negative and we have also seen the two level clippers now moving on to the problematic part that is we have to solve some problems based on these topics and our knowledge should be tested here draw the output waveforms of a given clipper circuit for sine side or square input example one show the output waveform for the network shown in figure a if the peak value of ac input is 15 volts show all the voltage levels in the output so this is the circuit we have given we have given the circuit that is see which type of circuit is it a clipper circuit and it is a series clip series clipper circuit and we are getting is it positive or negative it is a negative clipper it is a negative clipper and we have biased voltage here that is v reference is there v reference is equal to plus 3 plus 3 okay how are you saying it is plus 3 or minus 3 it is not plus 3 it is the minus 3 because you should see the reference voltage either it is plus 3 or minus 3 from the current direction from the flow of current direction that is into the negative terminal or into the positive terminal if you consider the current in the clockwise direction and v input from the v input we, if we are moving into the dc voltage through negative terminal so it is a minus 3 that is v reference is 
minus 3 and the diode direction then followed by the load resistor so we are getting a negative clipper series negative clipper with vr minus 3 volts with vr minus 3 volts if you remember the circuit of unbiased unbiased series negative clipper unbiased series negative clipper will get the output only sinusoidal wave that is the positive portion only for the negative portion you will get the zero but in this case we are applying the reference voltage minus 3 volts reference voltage minus 3 volts and see what is the input peak value here input peak value is 15 volts which is greater than vr right the condition vr is less than v max v max is 15 vr is 3 so we get a considerable portion keep it off so the output will be c first to see the waveform then you will understand the entire things this is a problematic portion first you have to do it yourself if you do not get the answer then now then only watch this remaining video first to see we consider a sinusoidal wave consider a sinusoidal we have considered a sinusoidal wave and in that we have main, mentioned the levels plus 3 and minus 3 and v max one that is plus 15 and minus 15 0 to pi to 2 pi that is t1 and t2 two conditions two times and omega t and we can draw it directly we can draw it directly what is the negative portion is clipped off negative portion is clipped off and it is placed at minus 3 volts and the peak value is 15 but see here the output is shifted the output is shifted to plus 3 shifted to plus 3 and the voltage is v max is added to this value v max is added to this value As voltage is plus 3 when we input is called 0 that diode is forward bias and v output is called plus 3 volts assuming ideal diode See, analyze the circuit first. We input zero condition. Then we are getting positive terminal is attached to the P. Diode is forward bias. Circuit is closed. Three volts we are applying, and there is a drop across R. The entire three volts is applying across the resistance, and the V input is zero. It can be considered as a short circuit from the left left of this circuit that is from the minus terminal of the voltage to the resistor we can consider as a closer circuit then we get 3 volts entire 3 volts supply across this output entire plus 3 volts supply across this output for we input 0 condition for we input 0 condition see for we input 0 condition the voltage is shifted to the 3 volts voltage is shifted to plus 3 volts And what happens for the Vmax? So whatever the voltage we are applying, we get we get V output is equal plus 3 volts. In case of V input is equal to 0. By applying KVL, we get V input minus of minus V is equal to V output. That is V input plus V is equal to V output. For time t is equal to 0, V input is 0, so we get plus 3. Hence V output is equal to plus 3. This is because at V is equal to plus 3 volts, the derivative is forward bias when v max is equal to plus 15 the entire portion of greater than this zero or entire portion that is greater than input zero that is entire positive of cycle the kvl will apply v input plus v is equal to v naught will be reached by 
when v m is called plus five volts plus fifteen volts will be reached by v input the output will reach plus fifteen plus three plus fifteen plus three then you get plus eighteen volts so for the entire positive section we will get addition of plus three so that's why we are getting my plus eighteen and plus three volts from zero to maximum in the case of negative the output continues its decreasing nature its negatively off cycle of the input v i till v i reaches to up to minus 3 volts at the instant what happens up to it uh, minus 3 volts at this instant diode becomes reverse bias and output becomes zero when the input starts increasing at the instant t2 when v i crosses the limit of minus 3 the diode becomes forward bias and output starts increasing so at omega t is called 2 pi that is it is again plus 3 volts and so on the nature of the input and output values will be shown in figure b this example illustrates the use of additional supply voltage source to control transition state of diode to get the required wave of the clamped output so this is a clamped output because we are shifting the voltage levels of the input waveforms we are shifting the voltage levels of the input so the clipper circuits can also be used you can also be used as a clamping circuits also in, in this case so first you should draw the kvl equation correctly then by just applying the values zero value ones peak value ones and consider what it is forward bias and reverse bias then only you will get kvl correctly then after that try to draw the waveforms so in that case we get a shifted version of the clipped off portion of the entire voltage so with this topic and with this problem we consider we conclude today's sessions if you have any doubts please mail me at suresh akul 2001 at the gmail.com we will see tomorrow's class but practice the number of questions number of problems one must practice then only you will get different kind of waveforms not only the topics we have seen in this lecture will come directly into your exam or in the competitive exam or in the interview questions but, um, they will ask different questions with the different voltages and different diodes number of diodes also can also be increased then the diode wave then a waveform will change you may not expect which this, this type of uh, waveform will even exist right so analyze the circuit by step by step that is the main consideration and you can understand it fully then only okay so with this topic today we consider we conclude today's lesson right thank you one another closing the session now